All right, so I just experienced something that I feel like I, it's been put on my heart to like share with uh, people. And it's like, <laughs> I want to feel like it's a life hack or something, but um, I've had a lot of stomach issues, uh, like even since like I was a kid. Um, and I've tried all natural methods and, and everything to, to cure it. Um, but since moving to America in 2018, I ended up like with more uh, parasites and bacteria than I've ever experienced before. Um, and that's mainly due to probably the, the food here in comparison to Europe. But also I ended up taking uh, antibiotics which I don't like to do really unless I'm absolutely like it's necessary and um, so recently um, this year um, I had some really really aggressive parasites that I was dealing with and I typically fast or what I assumed was fasting uh, for many years now uh, intermittent f uh, fasting or time restricted eating now during those periods of time I would um, still like take liquids so I'd have kombucha or coffee um, so technically it's not like fasting but um, it would help me and my digestive system would you know reset a little bit but then as soon as I'd eat again um, I'd have the issues so this year like I said I was dealing with a really aggressive parasite so um, I finally got to um, see a gastrologist who also um, came to um, also I came to realize that uh, I have no digestive enzymes so um, unfortunately uh, I don't have the enzymes to break down my food so got on some uh, great medication for that in fact I don't mind taking that medication just because it mimics the enzymes I should have anyway that all aside um, this parasite they wanted to um, heal with some antibiotics and um, so I took the antibiotic which I didn't really didn't want to, but I did. And I retested because I was still having issues and it showed that I still have this parasite. Um, so uh, some dear friends of mine um, put me on to bone broth. Um, so I started incorporating bone broth into my like into my rice or into my diet just by sipping it uh, on a daily basis and I liked it but then I came to realize that you can do a bone broth fast so I had another friend who spoke about longer fasting periods like for two to three days and I thought oh, yeah that's something I'm probably interested in and so between that and I think like God was trying to speak like that I needed to do it so I thought right I have this parasite and uh, the infectious disease center um, wasn't they weren't able to connect me with them so I thought okay I'm just gonna try bone broth fast for two days and um, so I did so this is what the bone broth is it's like so you gotta be careful that you don't buy just broth, like flavored broth, it's like bone broth. So uh, it has nine grams of protein, it has all your uh, nutrients in it, and you know, electrolytes. So what it, and I'll write this down for anybody who needs it, but um, it basically is just bone broth. That and water, like no coffee, no kombucha, no food. Um, now, most people who've never fasted before like the recommended would be 24 hours so because i've fasted um i figured i'm gonna push myself now typically you should rest as well like don't really exercise um but i did light workouts not at the gym just some bar and pilates on top of it a trampoline and i did all my sauna sessions so i knew that i needed to be careful because of the electrolytes but the bone broth gave me all i needed so 48 hours passed and by the time i was around about to eat i felt like i could have gone another day but i decided like to to end it because i felt like i had done enough um and yeah, I felt a bit fatigued throughout. I had a few headaches, but apparently that's the parasite leaving the body as well. Um, so today I wake up 
right? And I had the best night's sleep. Um, I woke up feeling really, really, really refreshed. Like zero fatigue, no tiredness. The inflammation around my stomach uh, had dissipated. Um, I actually have had pain in my legs and like just overall like weakness in my muscles when I put my feet to the floor this morning I was like oh there's no pain and um, I looked in the mirror and I just looked like slimmer and um, did not do this to look slim or to lose weight that's not the intention of this at all and um, but it was a byproduct of it um, and throughout the day I wasn't hungry so I, I was like okay this is awesome I hit the gym um, all the machines that I go on, because I was doing my legs, um, my knees typically get really sore, like really sore, um, and there was no pain in my knees whatsoever. I was like, on one particular machine, and I was like, oh God, fuck. I was like, there is zero pain. Um, and I felt like I was walking on air, like, just the mental clarity that I had and just the energy. And I just felt like, I know now when they say your gut health, like gives you an overall feeling of like happiness. And I just really felt that. Then just for my own, like, um, you know, I, I just wanted to see like, what, what did I weigh? Now I should have weighed myself prior um, to it, but I know kind of what weight I'm at and then after, straight after, without taking any food yesterday. But anyway, um, the night had passed or whatever and I'd had some liquids, but it seems like I lost about seven to eight pounds, possibly more. Um, again, not, not doing it for the weight at all. Uh, that's not, uh, it was to really rid myself of the parasite. Um, so yeah, I just, I felt like a surge of energy and a happiness I haven't felt like in my body. So I was doing some stretches and I have lower back pain a lot and um, I was able to um, sit down with my back against a wall and put my forehead right onto my knees, which I have not been able to do and not at least with ease. Zero pain in my back, all inflammation in my body has dissipated. Um, so I just, I don't know, like, maybe not everybody feels the same um, overwhelming benefits maybe because I have been struggling with some pain and, and uh, parasitic or bacterial uh, issues but I just highly recommend it like I know other people who've done it and have seen the benefits of it and now I will say I, I prayed a lot so um, for those of you who may know me know that like my Lord and Savior is a big part of um, my healing journey but also for those of you who don't um, know me um, yeah I decided to fast and pray along with doing it so I had to call him in for a lot of strength throughout it um, but also praying that this would be uh, the healing that I've needed um, so I'll update <laughs> if anybody cares I don't know but I spoke to my gastroenterologist and I said hey I want to hold off on any other medication right now and I'm going to retest uh, in a couple of days um, now that some time has surpassed um, and I'm also taking a wormwood supplement which is going to help with the parasites um, and see if doing that will help uh, the journey. Um, I, I personally feel like it's gone because I have no um, symptoms um, but it's just gonna be interesting to see what the the test comes back as. But anyway I just felt to put it on my heart to share um, my journey with uh, the bone broth um, fast and there's many uh, methods for it, there's many time scales 24 hours, 48, 72 uh, but if you're just new and you're starting to fasting I would uh, start with maybe 24 hours and uh, yeah and I'll put uh, maybe the, listen there's piles of information on Google um, and I'm sure AI <laughs> can tell you all about it too so definitely research it if you're feeling uh, the need to do so but if somebody needed to hear this today I just as somebody who grew up holistically myself um, and I'm not against modern medicine just so nobody thinks I'm bashing it I've had to use it and by all means you know 
God allows it to. Um, but I feel like this is uh, such a pivotal point in my health journey right now that I felt it too good not to share. So if it helps somebody else, um, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just being passed on to me. So um, yeah, so God bless you all. And uh, yeah, bone broth, um, try it. <laughs> I'm not sponsored, nothing to do with any, I'm not affiliated with anything or in, anything like that. But hey, if uh, anybody out there wants to give me bone broth, I'll take it. But anyway, yeah, so love and light. God bless.